This is Bog Whoppet, and welcome back to episode 6 of The Forest. Um, I've been playing a little bit in the off time in order to build up some resources in order to move building along a little bit. Otherwise I think it might take a little bit too long. So I'll just run through everything that I've done. So first of all, I built some stone holders here as you can see so that hopefully we can shift along a little bit with our walls. I've built four, contemplating building some more. I think they hold, I'm not sure if it's 25 or 30 rocks each, but um, it certainly should help. As you can see, I've also built a little raft with one log holder. I've got a particular plan with that, um, and I'll go through that with you in a second. I've also built some log holders again just to speed things along um, I've spent about probably three or four in-game days actually gathering all of this stuff and we are currently on day 16 but as I said I've got something very particular in mind that I want to do before I move along here something very specific because I think mutants are going to be out and about quite soon I also did just a couple of little things in here. I built a fire to burn our bodies, of course. I've got a stick holder because in order to reset the happy birthday traps when they're triggered, I need a stick. So it's always going to be handy having some spare in case I haven't got any on me. And I've also built a little bone basket to collect all of the bones that we're going to uh, be gathering. I did have a few visitors um, while I was gathering all of this stuff loads of them and oh there's a fire chap running by there they do that an awful lot but they don't necessarily come down here even when they run a, run along by the zip line they don't seem to see me this far back so whether there's a certain distance that they spot you i'm not sure um i did come across a few when i was up there i had to collect a heck of a lot of sticks all of these holders and they take a ton um but if ever I ran down here or took the zip line down, they didn't seem very keen on following me. Um, and very often they just get bored and bugger off, really. So I only actually killed two cannibals the whole time that I was doing this. And as I say, I had them running along there almost constantly. So that was quite interesting, but um, also made it a little bit easier. So. The reason for this raft and this log holder. Well, I had a thought about the mutants when they come because they will start wandering around. Now when there's just one, it's not going to be too much of a problem. I can probably, you know, get stuck in and, and run around and have some fun. But very often they'll come in twos or threes and very often with cannibals as well. Now, I don't want them near my tower base because particularly with Kevin the Cowman, um, he is capable of just completely running through and smashing it to pieces. So what I had an idea about was two little towers just out in the water a little bit. I don't want them too far because I want to be able to shoot from them onto the beach. But not quite far enough that they can't reach me. Now there's a possibility with where I'm planning to place them that Kevin might be able to reach me with a good charge um, but I mean at the end of the day if you break stuff yeah all part of the fun but the idea is two platforms with a rope bridge between them to give me a little platform to run along and shoot stuff from afar um, just for those times where there's just too many to take them on one at a time because I don't want to be constantly dying I don't mind the occasional death but you know it gets a bit boring if it's constantly so the first thing we've got to do is decide where we want our platforms so let's find our platform first of all here we go can i do the swimmer i can but it's going to be easier if i'm stood on a boat so as i said i don't want this too far out uh, okay, what I think I'll do is I will just move my little raft out a little bit. Go back on there. I 
think maybe around here would be a good spot for the first one. Again, I want to be able to shoot them, so I don't want to be too far away. Honestly, I don't know the best spot because I don't know how far they can come to smack it. So, but I, I think we'll just go with that. And then we'll move the little raft over to the other spot, which I think is going to be somewhere around that log type thing that's there. I'll pop it about there. Honestly, I'm not too fussy. 14. Quite hefty in cost. But we've got the locks, so we're okay. And this was part of the reason that I uh, wanted to build up a nice stockpile. So this won't take forever. Put the locks off here. Oh, I push my here. Uh, I push my little raft out. That's no good. There we go. Higher log holders worth of logs onto a log sled. So that's 12, they both take 12. So. And again. Well, I haven't seen a, a mutant at all um, while I've been sort of gathering the two was just lots and lots of cannibals but that fire one we just saw running past that was the first fire one I've seen so that was uh, a new occurrence obviously as you Play later and later in the game you get things like the fire cannibal you get the tattooed ones um, they're a bit tougher as well we'll just run and get this last couple of logs and then obviously you get the mutants um, Z Virginia and Kevin sit down a moment and restore our stamina because we're getting out of puff just running across the beach there so I haven't needed to build the second zip line yet um, even with all the logging I did I'm still not stripping out the forest up there completely I am sleeping every night in order to allow 10% of the trees to regrow so I'm not particularly fond of uh, playing in the dark with all the cannibals around to be honest so it suits me fine to just play during the daytime three more logs right now what we want is a tree bridge can I do it from here and can I do it straight? I can, wonderful. These are generally usually pretty cheap. 11, not too bad at all. Right, 
and then I'll just need to decide how I'm going to get back and forth really. Um, do I build something from there? I haven't actually thought about that bit yet. About where I want the... Uh, the entry point to be because obviously I've got to get on the platform. Ah. I will think about that in the off time. But for now I just wanted to get on with this and get cracking. And get cracking with that tower of mine as well, otherwise we're gonna be at this forever. Where are you going? Just what you couldn't go around? You had to go under? Yeah, let me move it for you. There we go. Night night, cheerio. See you tomorrow. Just load up the log sled again. And the sun's going down. been meaning to do for days. That's my bird houses. Still haven't put any bird houses on my little houseboat. I'll do that in a moment, I think. really big from this angle. Can we get up? Up we go. Yep. Up. You can do it. Up. 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 Come on. Yeah. Really? Come on. My gosh, that was just an awful lot of effort for not a lot going on. I'll whip this around there. Come on, here we go. You can actually put more than one log holder on these rafts, but it does become a little bit unsteady the more you put on this, so... Spin it around. I get caught up on it, I think. That's... Take a little nap, as we do. Save our game, as we do. And as you can see, I've uh, got a little special something. This is for special occasions. It's drying nicely. And have a drink here. You get about four full drinks out of a um, out of a water skin, so that's quite good. Right, bird houses. Let's not get distracted again. Otherwise, we will never get these built, and at some point, I will want feathers. There we go. Although, also, we'll do my utmost. Oh, where can we put you? I usually go on there. On the front there. Mm -hmm. oh, come on, little bird house. I'm sure you can go somewhere. No? Well. Ah! Am I going to poke myself in the eye? Probably. But we won't worry about that. We've got another one, we can. I mean, once we move along with the tower, I will, of course, put some on there. But for now, now we'll just do that. 
Okay, we'll spend half an hour. Ooh, that's time. Let's back up here. Let's see if we can get in there. Here we go. They are nice and cheap, which is great. And basically, what happens is they attract birds, and um, after a couple of days, I'll be able to start looting feathers from it. We'll be able to start making arrows, should we need them. The modern arrows are definitely a lot better than those, but you know, if you run out of modern arrows, it gives you others. So it's always good to have options. Right, so now let's start filling in walls and things. Start moving along with this. Okay. Certainly be emptying this out quickly. But uh, it is very satisfying to sort of get a decent amount of building done at one time. times with the cannibals when I was collecting resources that they did go to jump over the happy birthday traps but that's okay because I do have a plan um, to prevent that now that we're getting our walls a little bit higher but I've needed to get them higher before I can put the little what am I going to call it I don't know the thing that's going to stop them jumping. We'll just call it the thing. Okay. Because brain, brain not so hot today. Words are hard. It's actually starting to look like something half decent. Boy, these rocks going down quick. So that's the second layer done. And Mr. Seagull, he seems to like the wall. So yeah, they're sort of, because the flat platform is a little bit higher, they're automatically trying to jump. And I did have a chap go jump straight over the happy birthday trap, straight in. So what I need is, I've got to try and remember, is it third or fourth layer now? Let me check. So it's basically sort of a little bridging wall that goes over the top. Sort of creates just a barrier really at the top. Not there really. Why won't you go up there? Oh, at the top. Okay, you don't want to go up the top. What about this top? Go on that one for me. Oh, come on. I went up there. It doesn't want to play. No, it really doesn't. Okay, let's try it from inside where we're a bit taller. Ah, there we go. So it's basically just sort of a little archway over there. And it prevents them from actually jumping over. So... Okay, through the door it is. It's going to be fussy. So, we'll dip just 
only a there. Get rid of that one. So it's basically that. Yeah, that's the height I want. And um, you can actually put a little dangly lamp down in the middle to light it up as well, which looks rather nice. That's better. And there we go. Okay, let's get cracking again with the stones. And at least then we will have sort of properly functioning happy birthday traps while we then continue to build the inside of the tower up. That's if they ever decide to come down to this lower part to play with me. So they seem to wander off when I come down here. Perhaps they know that some of their friends met an unfortunate end and decided not to join them. Well, the rocks are lasting quite well. There will be many sessions of rock collecting, no, definitely. And that's going to begin right now. Okay, so that's that third wall on the outside done. Yeah, I think that one's going to need another one just to make it look pretty. You know how I feel about really. Well, I'm far from sort of perfection. I'm certainly not OCD when it comes to perfection. So, hello, Mr. Seagull. Be careful of the trap. And there we go. There. So that's looking quite good, and it's been rather quiet today. We haven't had a single visitor so far. Okay, so I'm very happy with how that's looking. Let's see if we can put up a couple of little lamps. Give a nice little bit of glow at night, just in case we do decide to. Gotta be careful not to trip off my trap. Oh, there we go. Just needed to be a little bit lower. Right, and let's do you as well. Him facing the right way. And there we go for you as well. So we've got a nice little glow. Right, so the next part of this, I want another layer on the inner tower, and then we'll put the next floor on. Now I'm thinking about whether to have this one run straight across, but I really do like being able to see that arch. So I'm not going to, I don't need to for the floor. So um, I think I'll leave it because I really do like how that arch looks. I may put some rocks in there, I think, um, just to close up that gap and to stop any sneaking going on and also just to make it look a little bit more finished. So I think I'll do that now as well. Those are going to be a slightly different height, aren't they? But it should be fine. If, when I put my roof on, it'll be a custom roof, it'll be a custom floor actually. And if I start it on the lower wall, then the whole floor will be that height. So it will just kind of cut this top sort of line off that row there. So that's fine. Again, I should have 
done these walls before I'd finish these wooden ones but um, I'd forgotten basically that that's how it works but we live and learn and hopefully I will remember next time when we're building um, to complete the rock walls before I complete the wooden ones but um, no I'm, I'm liking how it's looking let's just reset this happy birthday trap and this is why we need a stick on us to reset that there and I'm actually going to end the episode here. I know this is a bit of a shorter one, um, but I am actually trying to get the length of the episodes down just a little bit. They're just slightly too long um, and just to kind of reduce the amount of time for rendering and uploading just to make it a little easier on me getting the episodes finished. So thank you very much for watching, watching either or washing, whatever suits you. And um, if you enjoyed it, then please remember to like and subscribe and feel free to comment and give me any advice or tips that you may know about. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you again and I will see you next time.